Part two, we're going to learn some advanced formulas. Write this down. A function is a built way to form complex, common but complex tasks. Okay, so answer all this stuff right here. All right, let's take a look at this. All right, so what is, let's look at this whole one real quick. Add up the goal column. Okay, so basically what we want to do is we want to, we want to add this up, right? Okay, so if we want to add this up, we use a function. We use the sum function. So we're going to start with a formula. So we say equals, and then we say sum and then we put a parentheses and we want to sum up all this stuff right here so we click and we drag down and then we hit enter okay and you can see that this is all added up now now here's the thing that's nice about this is the nice thing about it is that if we change our mind like oh you know what that was actually supposed to be a seven watch what happens we click off and all of a sudden it updates it so it's not static so if you were to add this up with a calculator and, and type in an answer it would be static you could change this but this answer wouldn't change but the way we're doing it with the formula it's it's constantly updates okay all right now let's take a look what is a cell we already know that a cell is a rectangle that holds either a f information or a formula what is a column a column goes vertically it's a vertical this is a column right here this is a vertical group and in this thing what we did is we added up the column you can see we're adding up the column what is a row we already know the answer a row is cells that go horizontally what is a formula uh, a formula is anytime you're using the equal symbol and adding stuff up what is a function a function is something like sum that's built in by the way if you want to find the functions here they are over here here's some of the standard functions that we use okay all right, use the following functions, total, max, min, and mode. All right, so, we're, so we use the sum function. Now we're going to use the average. So we're going to type right here, equals average, parentheses. We're going to select the range of our column here, and we're going to hit enter. Okay, so on average, I scored a 7.29. Okay, and then the highest, I'm going to type in equals max, parentheses. Click and drag down enter the highest rating I ever got was 10 the lowest is I'm gonna type in equals min click and drag enter for and the most often is the mode so I'm gonna type, type in equals mode and click and drag enter and the most often I got was seven okay so now we know the the sum average max min and mode functions all right uh, if function write this down real quick okay and this you can we're going to type this formula in and let's see why so what we want to do is click right here on weight training and click type in this I'm going to double click click on it and you're going to see so basically if this equals this it's going to put yes okay and if this does not equal this it's going to put no so we hit enter and you can see did I do weight training that day no so I'm going to use my fill handle. I'm going to copy that down. And you can see, yeah, I weight trained, I weight trained. Okay, and so now we're going to copy that formula over and do it for all of these things. Okay, so basically that is, a, that is an if statement. If one thing is true, it puts one thing. Otherwise, it does something else. Okay, by the way, so... Those dollar signs are absolute references. Okay, we're going to use the COUNTIF function to count how many times a value occurs in a range of cells. So we're going to use this formula right here. Okay, so we're going to click, we're going to go here, and I'm going to use the COUNTIF. You can see, basically, I'm going to count how many times this, this says yes. So we have one, two, looks like three, might be, maybe four. Okay, so yeah, we have three three yeses for weight training so then we're going to use our fill handle and we're going to copy that formula over okay and and we can get we're getting a little more information from the data that we have so now we need to figure out the percent okay so let's see if that's on the next thing all right calculate the calculate percent of the time that the condition is true so how many days are there in a week seven so we're going to click on here and we're going to type in equals we're going to take this number of yeses that number of times we weight trained and we're going to divide by so we're going to use the divide square the question mark thing is divided by seven days in a week we're going to hit enter 
and then we got to change that to a percent so we're going to come over here and make sure that we click on percent and we can increase or decrease the numbers I'll decrease them and then once we get that how we like it formatted we're going to copy that over okay and so we can see like okay for 40 I wait trained 43 percent of the time I worked I had no workout 29 percent of the time I ate healthy 29 percent of the time I ate poorly look at that 57 percent of the time I ate poorly okay so you can see that I'm I'm doing okay on some things but it's like the eating poorly you can see that's my big problem so we we've gained some information we've no no new data but we've actually learned something more in part two we use functions to take our existing data and create more useful information from it so that we can draw conclusions and my conclusion is I definitely need to eat more healthy